Aston Martin calls the Vanquish a super great visiting machine, not a super games auto, but rather it's beautiful to the point that we couldn't care less what Aston calls it. Truly, its resonating V12 influences it the quick, yet many opponents effectively out quicken it. Standard models make 568 horsepower, while the up-and-coming Vanquish S gets help to 580 horsepower. Like to drive topless? Settle on the Vanquish Volante for a genuinely uncommon ride. Similarly as with all Astens, its little defects are trivial since it is one of the loveliest things on four wheels. The dinosaurs didn't know termination was coming. They carried on frolicking and stepping as the sky swung to flame and that meteor took out a lot of Mexico. In a comparative vein, we question anybody as Aston Martin has been overcome enough to tell the revered Vanquish that it's inhabiting the furthest end of an overdraft of reappropriated time. This is an auto that sits on an engineering that as of now has been supplanted and which is as yet controlled by the brilliantly chronologically misguided normally suctioned V12 that Aston has been utilizing for almost two decades. In any case, while the new, turbocharged DB11 is an experimentally better auto by any metric you utilize, it can coordinate the selectiveness of Aston's range topper. Purchasers who choose the Vanquish should locate an additional $80,000 to get an auto with less gear and less power than its as far as anyone knows junior sister DB11, which costs just $214,820. Be that as it may, they will wind up at the zenith of Mount Aston. It's incomprehensible not to see the proceeding with interest of this most excellent of fantastic tours, an auto that makes a Bentley Continental GT look like something purchased at Sears. Presently, the Vanquish has been given a last refreshing and descending of the S identifications that Aston holds for its definitive incarnations. The Vanquish S gets more power, in spite of the fact that the expansion must be well inside the edge of variety of the non-S's motor. A partially more liberated streaming admission framework means to hone the best end in the 5.9-liter V12 and takes the yield rating up 12 drive to 580 horsepower, still 20 stallions not as much as the new twin turbocharged V12 in the DB11. Unusually, Aston claims a higher, 595 horsepower yield for the motor in European spec, in spite of the fact that it says the motor is in a similar condition of tune and offers no other clarification.